good morning children today we'll start a new lesson tenali rama and the gold coins so have you heard of tenali rama he was a poet in the court of king krishna devaraya we have heard lot of stories about tenali rama he was famous for his intelligence so in this lesson also tenali rama is proving his intelligence we can see how it is okay so tenali rama was a poet in the court of krishna devaraya a great king who ruled over the vijayanagar empire in the 16th century so this is the story of a story in the 16th century when krishna devaraya the king krishna devaraya ruled over vijayanagar empire during the 16th century tenali rama was famous for his wit and wisdom which was a source of delight for the king so each and every time this tenali rama was a delight for the king because for every problem there was a solution so tenali rama was so intelligent that he had a solution for every problems and he proved himself to be an intelligent person a clever person so many stories about tenali rama will have come down to us through hundreds of years so we have been hearing lots and lots of stories of tenali rama during the years so one day king krishna devaraya was in a good mood he gave each of his courtiers a bag full of gold coins they were 50 gold coins in each bag the courtiers were thrilled but the king had two conditions so one day when the king was in a very good mood what did he do he gave each of the courtiers who are courtiers the people who are part of the court of a king so who are in the court the courtiers were given a bag full of gold coins there were 50 gold coins in each bag so each bag contained 50 gold coins the courtiers were thrilled so when they got this gift unexpectedly the courtiers were very happy they were very thrilled but the king had two conditions but when the gift was given the king gave two conditions let us see what it is the first condition is you must use these gold coins within a week so the king is telling to spend the gold coins within a week at the end of the week you must show me what you have bought with them so once the seven days are over they should show the king what they have bought with this gold coins but there is another condition and the second condition every time you spend the gold coins you have to see my face so the second condition was each time you spend the gold coin you have to see my face and then spend the gold coin you see king krishna devaraya liked to set his courtiers problems to solve all the courtiers were very happy so the king liked to set his courtiers problems to solve so what did he tell all the courtiers hearing this were very happy they thought it was an easy task they two conditions were very simple they thought so all the courtiers were very happy they talked about what they wanted to buy so they started discussing among themselves what to buy and they made a list of things to buy they talked about what they wanted to buy they made long shopping lists the next day they went to the market each one carried a ba- big bag so everyone were carrying big big bags so that they can buy lots of things with the gold coins 
but whenever they wanted to buy something they remembered the king's last condition so when they were about to give the gold coin they remembered the king's second condition they had to see the king's face so the condition was to see the king's face and spend the gold coin so they couldn't find the king's face in the market but they couldn't see the king's face in the market so how could they spend the gold coins the courtiers were puzzled so now the courtiers were in a dilemma what to do they were confused how to buy without seeing the king's face some of them roamed the market the whole week so some of them were walking about in the market looking for the king's face once at least once they thought they could see the king's face they were roaming about in the market to see the king's face like that the whole week passed they hoped the king would come to the market they thought if the king comes to the market to buy something we can see his face so they thought if the king king comes to the market to buy something they could see the face and then we can spend the gold coins but the king did not come to the market but all their expectation was in vain the king did not come the whole week passed when the courtiers came back to the court the king asked them well what did you buy with the gold coins that i gave you so after the seven days all the courtiers returned to the court so the king asked them what did you buy hmm. what did you buy with the gold coins that i gave you the royal priest rose from his seat he said your majesty thank you very much for giving us the gold coins we went to the market with great excitement we had our bags of gold coins with us and we planned to buy many things but we could not buy anything at all because we could not see your face in the market so the royal priest who was representing the courtiers got up and gave the explanation to the king when the king asked to show the things they bought from the market the royal priest got up and before the king his giving the answer your majesty your highness in in a respectful a respectful manner we have to say in front of the king so the royal priest is calling your majesty thank you very much for giving us the gold coins first he is thanking the king for giving the gold coins that we went to the market with great excitement we had our bags of gold coins with us and we planned to buy many things but we could not buy anything at all because we could not see your face in the market so the royal priest said what they couldn't see the king's face so they couldn't spend the gold coins so they couldn't buy anything the royal priest pointed to the bags of gold coins that they had brought back and they and what did he do the royal priest pointed to the bag full of gold coins none of us saw your face in the market so we brought the bags of gold coins back so they is return they are returning the gold coins to the king the king began to laugh then he asked the nali rama did you buy anything so the king began to laugh then he asked the nali rama did you buy anything so the king had a hope that there will be a solution <clears throat> because each and every time whenever the king had any problem it was the nali rama who who solved the problem so the king was expecting a positive reply from tanali so what did tanali tell that day tanali had come to the court wearing new clothes and jewels he said your majesty look at this new dhoti the silk shirt this beautiful scarf and this shining ring i bought all these things with the gold coins you gave me so that day the the tanali rama came to the court with a wearing new clothes and jewels he said your majesty 
Look at this new dhoti, the silk shirt, this beautiful scarf and this shining ring. I bought all these things with the gold coins you gave me. So, the Nali had brought all sorts of things from the market. So, all the courtiers were pleased to hear this. So, the courtiers were happy because, why? The Nali Rama did not see the king's face, yet he spent all the gold coins. The king will surely punish him. So, all the courtiers were waiting for the king to punish the Nali Rama for not obeying the orders of the king without seeing the king's face. How did he buy all these things? So the courtiers were waiting what the king will do. They were sure that the king will punish Tanali. They were rather jealous of Tanali Rama because the king liked him very much and always laughed at his jokes. So the king, the courtiers were all, the courtiers were all jealous, Asuya, eh? jealous of Tanali Rama because the king liked him very much and always laughed at his jokes. The king said, Tanali Rama, you have disobeyed me. You have disobeyed me. You did not see my face in the market, yet you dared to buy these things. He looked at Tanali Rama sternly. So, what is the king telling? Tanali Rama, you have disobeyed. You did not obey my orders. You have disobeyed me. You did not see my face in the market. Yet you dared to buy these things and without seeing my face, how dare you bought, buy all these things? Hmm? The king was asking Tanali, hmm? yet you dared to buy this thing. He looked at Tanali Rama sternly. Hmm? The king is looking at Tanali very angrily. Tanali Rama said, Your Majesty, I saw your face before I spent every single gold coin. So what was Tanali's answer? I saw your face before I spent every single gold coin. Each and every time I saw your face while purchasing or spending the gold coin. Have you forgotten that every gold coin has your face on it? So have you forgotten? He's asking the king. Have you forgotten that each gold coin has your face on it? Yes, that is true, said the king rather pleased. So, what did the king reply? Yes, that is true, said the king, rather pleased. He smiled gently. The courtiers could not say anything. So, the courtiers became fooled. Okay. So, they didn't look at the gold coins. And that is the story of Tanali Rama and the gold coins. Thank you.